Pazjernik. October. The month of Pazjernik takes its name from the word Pazjerja. Best translated into English as shives, the dry stalks that are released during the processing of fibrous plants, like flax and hemp. Heading towards the end of the harvest season, Pazjernik was a time when non-food based plant materials would be used to produce fabrics for clothing and other domestic items. For this reason, big piles of Pazjerja around the community were quite commonplace. In Polish slang, Pazjerz means something ugly, uninteresting or of poor quality. For example, to video to Pazjerz. This video is rubbish. So what exactly goes down in Poland during Pazjernik? In terms of culture and yearly events, Pazjernik is not a particularly happening month. One might say that Pazjernik is a little Pazjerz as well. As for seasonal changes, it should be noted that Pazjernik is the first full month of autumn. And it may look good now, but it's set to become even more stunning in Listopad. That's November. But more on that in our next video. While it may be Germanic in origin, the celebration of Oktoberfest has become quite commonplace in Poland. The stereotypes around wódka and an unhealthy dependence on hard spirits has prevailed. However, the truth couldn't be more different. In the 21st century, figures have shown that beer is a significantly more popular beverage. And this is the legacy of close to a thousand years of Polish brewing traditions. As for Oktoberfest, the notably Bavarian format of this harvest festival is being reinterpreted by brewers such as Browarnia in Gdańsk, who have started to do things with a discernibly Polish look. At the tail end of Pazjernik is a tradition more associated with the United States than anywhere else. That being said, Halloween has become more and more popular with Polish children, and it's easy to understand the appeal. It's important to note, however, that the American format of this tradition is steeped in the traditions of European pagan ancestral worship. It varies in different regions across the continent. However, in Poland, this was known as Jade, or forefathers. And there are even more traditions of similar origins taking place in Listopad. So stay tuned. So what does your Pazjernik look like? Do you celebrate Halloween? Or maybe you attend Oktoberfest in your Polish city. Leave a comment below, and while you're at it, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just remember to click the bell for notifications. And you can join the In Your Pocket community on Facebook and Instagram. We look forward to seeing you again next month. Do zobaczenia!